<laughs> Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. Today is Tuesday. We have hot Italian sausage today with, uh, we're, we're trying to use up the rest of those tomatoes that we had bought from the store last week. Some basil from the garden, some oregano from the garden, which hopefully I found the right thing. She <laughs> said, said, it's right over there. I, he said, is this it with the round little leaves? I'm like, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> some garlic, some egg noodles, um, about half of a stick of butter just to lube it up. I did save some of my pasta water, toss that in there too, let it all cook down. Tastes good? good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Tastes like a really good fall dinner, but a I fall just dinner? got in <laughs> from the garden and I was like sweating. Mm. So um, I appreciate it. Um, it's not a summer meal, I it's guess. It's not. Maybe if it was cold, like a salad afterwards. It would be a good salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Woke up this morning, 48 degrees. 48 degrees outside. That's crazy. What in the world? But it, guys, I promise <laughs> you that whatever God decided to play a trick on us this morning is resolved and it is back to summer. This uh, 84 or yeah. something this afternoon, mm -hmm. the sun is blazing. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky to block anything. You spent some time out in the garden? Try to get some more weeding done today? I did. I'm really, really close to getting caught up. I did two beds last night, one of the corn rows today, half of the tomato row yesterday, and so slowly, slowly catching up. It's starting to look really good. I'm so excited this week, guys. I'm, I'm sure you've already seen it by now, but cabbage, green cabbage harvesting time is here. I'm ready to get out there. And do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cabbage season. Mm -hmm. We harvested probably a good, maybe a gallon and a half of cherries last mm -hmm. night off of our cherry tree. Mm -hmm. If you follow, the uh, dogs are being rude. Every time we sit down to eat, it's like we need to go outside now. Yeah. Stop, guys. Hey. Stop. <laughs> So if you follow us on Facebook, you probably saw a quick little snippet video of all them cherries with your pitter. You got them all pitted, ready to make something good out of them. Yep. Don't know what yet, but pretty sure it'll be just more cherry pie filling, but letting my mind noodle on it for a couple days before I decide. But I thought we could do a mini Q&A this week. Maybe not one like the full thing, but as we go through each meal, ask a question. Sure. Okay, I got one for you. You're gonna ask me a question? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Todd, what is your love language? My love language? Aren't you supposed to have multiples? No, you have a primary. You know what yours is. I think one of my, if not primary, is touch. Yes. I'm a touch person. I like to touch people and I like to be touched. Yes. She is definitely not a touch person. Right. No. Yeah, but it's not about me, it's about you. Okay. So, so many comments on our videos of late of, you guys are so affectionate towards one another. It's fake. Um, <laughs> some people love it. Some people love it. Some people don't like it. So I replied to um, a viewer today. I did actually reply. Oh. And I said, you know what? Um, yeah, he does touch me. And heaven forbid your husband touch your wife. <laughs> but he touches me and it is his way of showing love and it is not fake. Honestly, some some of the comments I'm like, what are they seeing? I don't <laughs> because for me it's just how we live and so no it's not fake because I have to go back and like what are they what are they commenting on? I don't because it's just who we are. Like yeah. As soon as we see each other. I don't care if we just saw each other. 30 minutes bef before we blow each other a kiss, we grab each other's rear ends, we give each other a <laughs> hug, whatever it is. That's just who we are. And, and sometimes, the sometimes it's just me touching you like this, just yeah. to touch you. Or yeah. I'm just a touch person. Yes. So I say that to say, I hope that it's a shining example of a healthy, loving, physical relationship. Not overly zealous by any <laughs> means on camera, but... 
Um, it is one thing that I focused on as a mom growing up that I took time away with my husband. My husband, my children weren't soul and center. Um, my husband got the affection he deserved and time away with me. And um, when we started this homestead, it was purposely so we had something to bring us closer together and reconnect mm -hmm. after raising all of our kids and i'm glad it's shining through on camera so i'm <laughs> just gonna say that yeah when once you're all your kids are gone if you don't have something to do together a lot of times people just sit on the couch and or divorce or whatever it's like what do you have in common anymore yeah and now that your kids are gone and i'm glad you like me i do i like you too so there. <laughs> All right, I'll think up a question for next time we cook. Okay, sounds good. Welcome to What's for Dinner, Rachel edition. Never as good as Todd's, but hey. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but I have been eye spying these cabbage steaks for a few years. I first saw them on Doug and Stacy's channel a long, long time ago, and I was like, that looks amazing. And one day when I can grow my own cabbages <laughs> that good, I wanna make them. And so I've known this is gonna be the very first thing I do with my cabbage harvest this year. So I had Todd, did you get it from the green stock? I did, wasn't that thing huge? So how exciting is that? You can grow cabbages and green stalks and um, just did like a marinade using our chive oil, um, some brown sugar, some lemon juice, um, salt, pepper, garlic, and then you roast it. And then the turkey is what we cooked, like the Simlo stove tops turkey burgers with, you have to add some fat to turkey typically when you cook it because it's such a lean meat, so it's got mayonnaise, and mm. seasonings and stuff like that. Yeah, it tastes good. I haven't tried the cabbage yet. I'm, in general, I'm not the biggest fan of cabbage, so we'll see how I like it. <laughs> you should see it cooked up nice and tender. Supposedly the crunchy bits on the outside are the best part. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's not cabbagey at all. Mm -mm. Really nice. Yeah, it's really moist. Mm hmm. Hmm. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> if I can make cabbage and toddle eat it, that's good. It's kind of almost on the list like Brussels sprouts is with them. <laughs> but, um. Mm mm mm. Yeah, good job. Thanks. So I thought of some questions so we can continue oh, our series. Oh, I forgot about that. Actually, I think I have. Yeah, we just had leftover pasta last night, by the way. We did, yes. Um, I had three questions. All of them for today? Yeah, but they were like, it's too easy. Oh. Um. Well, one is a question that you guys ask all the time. Where does Rachel get those glasses from? Oh, lots of glasses, yeah. You know. Oh, lens crafters. Lens crafters. She goes there once, is it once a year you once go? Once a year. Once a year she goes, she gets two new pairs of glasses. And if her prescription hasn't changed as much, she ends up with like four pairs that she can rotate through and right. have various colors to match your outfits. Yes, I've had lots of unique glasses over the years. And I remember one time a story, it was when we got married. Mm -hmm. My favorite, favorite pair, they were black and pink. They're somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> they fell off when I got crashed by a wave because I do have to wear glasses to see. Can't wear contacts. I've tried, believe me. And I'll, I'll forget because I'm so used to them. They're the first thing that go on my face in the morning, last thing that comes off my face when I fall asleep, if I remember <laughs> to take them off my face. And um, yeah, I forgot I had them on my face and went in the ocean and <laughs> took a wave. <laughs> Okay, my other question. Uh, we watch a lot of other homesteaders on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Little Mom Rance, Justin Rhodes. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I could probably go on and on yep. of all the different people that we watch. Mm -hmm. If you could trade or teleport. Oh. Is this your own question or somebody else's? No, this is my own question. Oh. <laughs> trade or teleport land with somebody else that we watch. Who would you trade with and why? Land? Mm hmm Their land, their property. Oh, definitely Justin Rhodes for me. Justin Rhodes or Little Mountain Ranch. I say Justin Rhodes because I'm so envious of the creek. Mm. So, so envious of the creek. And just the mountains and the pond next door. And so they have like lots of different water features. And the land, he's managed it really, really well. I love the house even, like having the <laughs> barn right downstairs. Yeah. How convenient is that? Especially if it could... That land could move here for the winter. Mm -hmm. Like, how convenient would that be? But then Little Mountain Ranch's place, that's pretty amazing, too. Mm -hmm. So That root cellar that she has? And yeah, just, she has so much land. I just really, really admire it. And her big garden and all the outbuildings mm -hmm. and the mountains right there. And... Oh.
nossa, eu quero... Smells so good. Yeah, it did turn out. I think it turned out amazing. I yeah. haven't tasted it yet. Well, I took a sneak peek. Oh, it, you did? It's really good. Yeah. Oh. Happy Fourth of July. It I was <laughs> July Fourth today. Yeah, I asked him, "Can we sit outside to eat?" He's like, "Sure." And then as he was cooking, he's like, "Do we have to sit outside?" <laughs> I'm like, "It's Fourth of July. That's what you're supposed to do." Oh. <laughs> They're really, really hot. Really hot. What does your temperature app say? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I haven't checked it. I, I have like these wireless temperature sensors that we use in our freezer, and I put one out here to measure it. So mm. it's been a few days since we saw you guys. In fact, I started to film another meal to share with you guys. I started the preparations to get it in the crock pot. Oh. But then when it came time to eat, we were babysitting our grandson at the time, and he was taking a nap, so we had to, like, go in stealth mode yes. and, like, eat in silence. So it would have been hard to film. But what, I mean, you can show him what it was. It was, like, yeah. this pot roast. Was it a pot roast or a chuck roast? It was a chuck roast, yeah. Chuck roast, but he, like, seasoned it with fajita seasoning, and then we had, like, the best fajitas oh they're so good it is we and still we have had eaten some. <laughs> them three days now for lunch yeah. and it's just delicious i'm still enjoying my roasted cabbage tonight mm -hmm. with the turkey and it's our home raised turkey so we're celebrating food independence today for us <laughs> on the homestead we've done so much around the property just Harvesting peas, harvesting lots of goodies, lots of videos coming out this week for you guys on just... It was a day of reward for me, like just yeah. to appreciate the freedom that I have to grow my own food. While we have store-bought macaroni salad, <laughs> because the other thing that we did Saturday. was... Saturday. Saturday, a huge family gathering with all of our, almost all of the kids. Um, minus the California kid and then one of our sons had to work for the day but we had a large crowd even extended in-laws and played cornhole and you guys did frisbee golf mm -hmm. for the day um, Todd cooked up a bunch of burgers we made banana pudding and cherry cobbler it we was did, just a great day it was we didn't film any of that part it was just our day to spend with our family so yeah Tonight's meal was the turkey breast, like you said, with um, jerk seasoning. Mm. A little bit of those peppers that I bought for my Philly cheesesteak just to make it a little bit spicy, which worked. I still have a couple store-bought tomatoes from the store, so I chopped them up with some garlic and some Montreal steak seasoning. Did they really, turn out any yeah, good? Yeah, they're really good. And leftover macaroni salad from Saturday. And we have dessert left over tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't want to go back to work. That's like what a great weekend it was. It was really a great, like, what makes my heart the happiest is when my children are home. Mm -hmm. When my children are home and I see them out there playing. Like, I don't even have to participate. I just need to be able to observe and watch, hear the cackles, watch the wrestling <laughs> yeah. and the... Watch the digging and everything that they do just as brothers and sisters and... That was, was fun. Really fun. Very, very mm -hmm. fun. Oh, we're still doing our Q&A, right? All week. All week. Todd, I, I got I a good a one. Question, you had a question, and now it's back to me, right? My question to you. Okay. This is going to be a doozy, so Todd might have to think for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I swear sometimes you think up like the hardest questions yeah. because you so, know how hard it is for me to answer questions, <laughs> let alone answer questions on camera. Okay, well, we might have to cut. Um, the question I'll do is, my best. all right, so everyone always asks me about taking next year off gardening. Why am I doing that? What, you know, all of that. Mm -hmm. Not using my reasons or anything like that. Taking next year off 
I guess, how do you feel and what are your thoughts and ideas about it? Because I really didn't ask you. I just, I didn't. I didn't ask him. It was just my leading, my guiding, and, you know, it got laid on my heart to do it. And I said, this is what we're going to do. And he was supportive, of course, but I would like to know. Inquiring minds want to know, what does Todd think about it? What does Todd think? Um, well, I support you, like you said. Yeah. Because we're never, whenever either one of us feels really strongly about something, we just try to blanketly yeah. support, you know, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. you need this, okay, let's do this mm -hmm. type of thing. And from a food perspective, I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I think we, there's a lot of food downstairs yeah. <laughs> in the pantry. There's mm -hmm. a lot of food that we don't always eat, I think, because we go for things that are maybe easy. we and and are easier or we enjoy more. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to tap into some of that other stuff. less common food. Sure. Um, yeah, and I, th I think it'll be good for you. I'm looking forward to it for us to do some things that aren't here, mm -hmm. whether it be our boating, our trip that we want to take spending more time at the cabin and I want to try to use it as an opportunity to get some of those projects done that we haven't like like the barns and the roof and the things like that so that we still have content to share with people you know because yep. a homestead I mean you can't just walk away I mean you forever. can yeah I, mean, I guess if but I mean things need to be maintained trees need to be pruned blueberry bushes need to be fertilized I still got to mow the grass you know there's there's still things that we'll need to do. Mm -hmm. and we'll so still it's not have, like it's a complete break, but it is a, a different workload for you. Yeah. Do you find any relief in the idea of it? No, not necessarily. Okay, I mean, shoot. Because <laughs> I feel like an, a ton of relief from the idea. Well, the garden is mostly you. I mean, yeah. I help you build the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I move wood chips. I set up trellises, haul dirt. Mm -hmm. You plant the seeds. Mm -hmm. You harvest everything. Mm -hmm. You preserve everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I help you can sometimes, but mm -hmm. for the most part, that's all Rachel stuff. Yeah. Well, I hope it helps a little bit, I guess. <laughs> if nothing else... I'm not asking you for things, and you're, we're able to focus on the things that you want to get done. Okay. All right. Well, that was my question. Not necessarily a question any viewer has asked, but I thought, why not ask it on camera? And uh, you guys probably have an idea of what the balance of our relationship is, and sometimes he makes the decisions, and we go with that, and sometimes I make the decisions, and we go with that, and... So it was just interesting in my mind. I was like, I wonder what Todd thinks of yeah. this. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Okay, good. There's, I'm, I'm curious um, whether you end up deciding to plant in your green stalks or not. Oh. Even if it's just like herbs and things like that, just for cooking purposes. Yeah, you know? I'm really trying to avoid it at all costs. Honestly, <laughs> I am. Are you? I am. I'm trying to take the break. That's what it's intended to be, a rest. So I don't, I, I do want to caution us to not get too busy in other projects that we don't appreciate what it's supposed to be, you know, that we're resting and we're just, all right. <laughs> Thanks for coming along this week on What's for Dinner, yep. Q&A edition. I think we have one meal planned for next week so far. You got out something. I, I don't did. know what you're going to make with it. Um, We've and had the rest it before. We'll, it's nothing new. <laughs> all right. In the rest, we'll kind of make it up as we go. See you guys next week.